Hello, this is Carl Crow. I'm doing this video today to tell you what I'm learning in Asa Love's 100K Mastermind. On one of the videos I posted yesterday, Asa made a comment about the fact that I mentioned long tail and short tail keywords. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about long tail and short tail keywords. I was looking through some of my videos I've actually been doing a lot of uh, short videos where I've been doing either like uh, business jokes or business facts and doing YouTube shorts. And in putting those up, I was looking back through at the number of visitors or how many people viewed the video. And if I had more views, then I would look to see maybe what is it about that video that more people are, are viewing it. And some uh, YouTube short videos, jokes, I may get 30 to 60 views. Some of them I'll get between 100 to uh, 250. And then a few of them I'll get over 400 views. So I was looking at one of the ones that got over 400 views to see why it got more views than some of the others. And then look at the title in that joke, the phrase make money online was used in the question asked in the joke. And it got the, the 450 views. So I think because I had that keyword phrase. Now what I do is when I am uh, uh, uploading the video, right underneath the video, it has a place where you can put in three terms. You can type in three terms there each time. And I had typed in make money online. Then in the title, make money online showed up in the title. But I always copy my title and put it in the first line of the description. So that made Make Money Online be in the description, in the title, in that section where you type, can type in three things underneath the video. I also had Make Money Online in the tag. And also in the description, I had a hashtag. I had a, a pound Make Money Online. And so that phrase was used in a lot of places. It was used underneath the video where you can put in a few things in the title, in the description, a hashtag in the description, in the tag. But I've also read that also Google can pick up what words are being said in the video. So make money online was mentioned in the video. So that's another place. So uh, I think the reason that one got a lot more views was it had a good phrase, make money online. So hey everyone, Y'all are interested in making money online? Use that phrase in your video title. Use it in your description. Use it in your hashtag. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about long tail. Let's make that longer. I could put make money online in 2023. That would make it a little bit longer. Or I could even make it longer than that. I could make it how to make money online in 2023. Or I can make it even longer than that. How to make money online in 2023 from home. Or I'll make it even longer. How to make money online in 2023 from home without investment. Now when I use that really, really long keyword phrase, then any subset of that could be picked up. So even though I use that really long one, how to make money online 2023 at home without investment, it can pick up make money online at home or make money online or make money 2023 and it will pick up subsets of that and also use those and that will help you get better views for your videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.